Today we're going to look at working with nested properties in RAD Property Grid. RAD Property Grid is part of the Telerik RAD control for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. So the RAD Property Grid provides an approach to processing nested properties in a tree-like visual structure. In this video, we're going to take a look at how exactly you would do that using the RAD Property Grid. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and I'm going to begin with a new project again. We're going to select Visual C Sharp Silverlight and then RAD Control Silverlight application. And I'm going to simply give this the name RAD Property Grid Nested TTV and select OK. We're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website. We're also going to be using Silverlight version 5. So once we hit OK, I'm going to navigate down just a tad here and I'm going to place a check in telerik.windows.controls.input. You'll notice that it will also check the dependent telerik.windows.core. I'm also going to need telerik.windows.controls.data for this sample. And once we place a check in that and scroll down just a tad, you'll see that telerik.windows.data has been added for us as well. Finally, we can hit the Finish button and our Silverlight 5 project will begin spinning up. Once our project is loaded, I'm going to scroll over here and underneath References, we're going to take a look at Telerik.Windows.Controls, Telerik.Windows.Controls.Data, Telerik.Windows.Controls.Input, and Telerik.Windows.Data has been added to our project automatically. If I scroll up a tad, Inside of our user control, we'll see that the Telerik XML namespace has automatically been added for us. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a class called Employee. So I'm going to just simply right click, I'm going to hit Add, and go to Class. I'm going to type in Employee, and we have our new Employee class. So I'm going to begin by dropping in a code snippet here that has several properties already defined for us. So we have a first name, we have our last name, we have a title, we have a home phone, and then we have a department, which we're about to define. So for our department class, I'll just paste this in. We'll see that we have a public class called department with a public int of ID, and then a string here of country. But we're going to add in one more class here, and this is going to be orders. So I'm going to paste in my order class, and we'll see that we have a ship address here, we have a ship name, a ship postal code, and a ship country, an order date, a ship date, and then, of course, an employee. This is going to be uh, able to give us a great representation of what it looks like to see nested properties inside of RAD Property Grid. So now that that's in place, I'm going to switch back over to my main page.xaml and I'm going to add my RAD Property Grid. So I'm going to begin by typing Telerik RAD Property Grid. I'm going to give this a name of Property Grid 1. I'm going to set its item to be simply bonding. And then I'm going to set a property called nested properties visibility to visible. So this is the key to seeing our nested properties. So now let's switch back to our main page.xaml and let's go ahead and underneath the initialize component Let's add a loaded event handler here, and we'll just paste in a snippet that has some nested properties here for us. So we're just going to set the data context to a new order. We're going to give it an order date, ship date, ship address, country, name, postal code. And then we're going to define an employee. So we have a new employee and they're going to be named Nancy. We're going to give it a last name, a title, a home phone, and then we're going to be using department. 
we're going to be creating a new department with a country of USA and an ID of 1. So we can now go ahead and we can run the project and see what this looks like. So we're just going to begin by start without debugging. So we have our RAD property grid on the screen here and we have our order date, ship address, country name, ship date, and ship postal code. But you'll see here under employee that we have a little plus. So if we expand this, you'll see the next set of properties. Our first name, our home name, our last name, and then our title. Then finally, if we expand the department here, then you'll see that we have our country and our ID. So this is just a quick sample of how you would work with nested properties using the RAD property grid. So thanks again for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.